2023 balls are placed in three bins. What is the closest to the probability each of the bins contains an odd number of balls? So if you've watched my stars and bars video and you're countering this problem, this problem will feel like a joke to you. Like if you've watched the Mastering AMC 1012 stars and bars video, you must have breezed through this problem like, wow, this is number 21 and you solved it in 30 seconds. So how do we do this? The first thing is to find the total number of ways 2023 20, balls can be placed into three bins. And to do that, we just have 2023 20, balls. We so on, and then we put two bars. So that's just 2025 20, choose two. But now well, how many ways are there to do this if every bin contains an odd number of balls? Well, the key thing is we can just say that, let's say the first bin has two A plus one balls. The second bin has two B plus one balls. And the third bin has two C plus one balls. And this is just two A. And this whole thing must be equal to 2023. 20, so therefore, A plus B plus C has to be equal to 1010. And A can be zero. For example, A can be zero and then it would just have one ball. A could be one, it would have three balls and so on. So how many solutions are there to this equation? Of course, A, B, and C are non-negative integers. Again, stars and bars. We can imagine 1,010 stars and two bars. So 1,012 choose two. So now our answer is just going to be 1,012 choose two divided by 2025 choose two. And we can just write out the terms 1,012 times 1,011 divided by two factorial, which, we're gonna, which is just gonna cancel out with the two factorial divided by the denominator, so we'll ignore it. And the key thing here is that this is approximately two, and this is also approximately two, so one fourth is the closest option. So it's asking for the closest value to, which is the following will contain. And the reason why we can make such bold, or maybe a better way to do this would be see, realizing that, okay, this cancels with this to get two. And then this, this, okay, it's a little bit less than half, but very slightly less. Because if you think about it, 1012.5, this wouldn't be equal to half. Exactly. And this is 1011 over 1012.5 times one fourth, basically, would be our exact answer. And this is so very close to one fourth, and none of these other choices even come close. But yeah, one fourth is our answer. Hope you enjoyed this video. And if you watched the Stars and the Bars video, I hope you found this technique useful.